Hey, welcome. And today we're going to be discussing our latest install. What we have is a Columbia five section boiler and our usual things that we add to it uh, to make it better and more serviceable for others moving forward in its uh, projected 20, 30 year lifespan. One of the things we do is we ditch the drain that normally comes with this boiler for a full port ball valve and hose connection to uh, really get the uh, dirt out of the bottom of the boiler quickly. We also add the uh, sight glass blowdown. Now this boiler has uh, been fired a couple of times um, in August which is not a lot of fun for everybody, but here we have to do it in order to get the soluble portions of the oils that uh, soak into the cast iron in the manufacturing process. And this is the uh, non-soluble portion, which then tends to coat the surfaces. Uh, and usually what you do for that is something you can, uh, if that gets really bad, can open up this plug and skim, skim it for cleaning. There's the return right there with the plug for cleaning if necessary. And there's the drain on the new wet return. Here's the existing wet return. And uh, we run it in one inch steel. When the, where the water feeds in, where the makeup water feeds in, we've added a bushing of uh, brass uh, to reduce uh, corrosion in that area. Best way to reduce corrosion, of course, is to not have to add a whole bunch of makeup water. Our usual um, adapter, so this can be replaced re relatively easy, easily by just uncoupling uh, that uh, union. Uh, this is a three quarter by seven eighths compression adapter. This is the instructions that come with the boiler. And we use these to, as a starting point, we have a five section boiler and it tells you that the risers must be two, the header can be two, and the equalizer line can be inch and a half. And then tell you to come out on both sides of the unit and come up a distance of 24 inches above the water line before you make your first turn and then uh, go into the header there's your and that's a little unusual that they have that that's something i would disagree with but there you go and that's your takeoff and any water that's uh, in the header then returns through the equalizer line and there's your harford loop there which is should be two inches below the operating water level of the unit and then there's your main vent your drip, and then your wet return. So we have 24 inches coming up, and then we do what is called a drop header. So any water that gets up to here is then run down into the header, and it's sent back to the boiler through this uh, equalizer line. And the water also returns for the wet return as the Harford loop. We've got a uh, corrosion resistant uh, unit there, so likely uh, to reduce any leaks on that area. So there's your drop header again. So rather than coming straight into this T, we have a couple of 90s and a short nipple. Uh, which allow for greater flexibility of the installation. And of course, we've got this pitching that way uh, to drain. So our VHT water feeder, uh, we've got it canted at an angle so that it is, uh, the numbers are leg uh, easily readable. Um, it's your manual bypass. And this is your tag uh, for uh, maintaining a record log of any maintenance that has to be done on this unit. We also have a shutoff valve in the back for maintenance. There's your strainer there for any dirt. 
uh, we've reversed the unit and we've uh, repurposed a um, black mailbox uh, solenoid in place of the solenoid that comes with the unit, which is this 24 volts to allow for a uh, change in orientation of the valve. We also changed out the old um, cutoff for the gas and added a uh, proper shutoff uh, there. So in this particular case, the steam main goes through there, goes into that crawl space and pops out there. And we have a Gorton number two at that end. We added that um, prior to the other boilers uh, removal to uh, get the steam to distribute easily. And there's the wet return, which loops around. And on the other end, There's a Gorton number one on the end of the short main, which goes into the wet return. The wet return goes through here. We didn't change it out because it looks like it was in good shape. Not a lot of rust, except the old, the rust, there was rust here in, in the piping here, which we removed and tied on with new piping there. The base was existing, so we just reused it. Um, And I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh yeah, the uh, chimney was relined by others, so that's always a good. That's always a plus uh, for for safety. Um, so I think uh, we've got this. And um, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know, um, and uh, I'll try to answer them. Hope to, hope this helps, and uh, see you on the next one.